Did you know Netflix has produced more than 200 original movies? It's a lot of screen time, but I'm sad to report that not all of it is worth your time. Luckily, if you stick around, you won't have to sift through all 200 plus titles before just giving up and rewatching The Office. I'm Alex Robinson, and on this week's Bingeworthy, we've got the five best original Netflix movies you need to watch right now. So I hope you have your microwave popcorn and Swedish fish ready because we're jumping right in. First up, I don't feel at home in this world anymore. But that's just the title of the movie. That's not actually how I feel. This film is part mystery, part thriller, part comedy. We'll just say it wears a lot of hats. But don't let the laughs fool you. You can expect a hearty dose of violence as well. It is all about balance, all right? The movie tells the story of Ruth, a nurse who is frustrated with the world and her own life. After her house is burglarized, she goes on a vigilante crusade to find the thief, teaming up with her quirky neighbor played by Elijah Wood. Seriously, this movie's got everything. Ninja stars, gallons of big red soda, upper deckers, friendly raccoons, and even exploding body parts. And through all that, the movie sets out to answer the very timeless question, why are people such assholes? And if that's not enough to convince you, who could say no to Elijah Wood and a rat tail swinging a set of nunchucks? I'm not letting you shoot anyone. Anyone, anyone else. Up next is My Happy Family. Manana is a middle-aged wife and mother whose big multi-generational Georgian family is super demanding and suffocating. After reaching her breaking point, Manana shocks everyone by packing up and leaving them to live on her own. Of course, we quickly find that this sort of thing just isn't done in Georgian families. So the cultural angle adds an extra layer of tension. Manana's husband, children, and parents are completely out of their element with her gone, but also equally peeved that she tarnished the family's reputation. All this leads to, and you guessed it, major drama, lots of fighting, and even eating cake for dinner, which you might not have guessed. While that may sound like a synopsis for Real Housewives, My Happy Family is both delicate and brutal in its portrayal of independence and women's changing roles in the household. And it should be a relatable watch for anyone who deals with their own family drama. The Meyerowitz Stories. The movie follows the Meyerowitz family, who all, to put it simply, have some very serious issues. It plays out like a series of short stories tied together by a common thread. All three Meyerowitz siblings share a seething resentment toward their disappointing father. This movie will keep you on your toes with trying to navigate the tricky dynamics of a dysfunctional family. Plus, it's packed with straight up amazing performances by an all-star cast. You've got Adam Sandler, Ben Stiller, Dustin Hoffman, and Emma Thompson, just to name a few. But it's Adam Sandler who really steals the show here, making a pretty major comeback after a few questionable projects of late. This movie is more akin to Punch Drunk Love and its charm and teeters delicately between comedy and tragedy instead of hitting you over the head with fart humor. Ow! You kicked me in the shin! Number two, Okja. Hollywood loves a cute pig protagonist. First there was Charlotte's Web, and then Babe, and now we've got Okja. But while Okja the pig might be super adorable, the movie's actually pretty dark. It's about a super pig that's genetically bred by a corporation to be the perfect food source. She was raised by 14-year-old Mija, who loves Okja like a pet, and I mean, how could you not? The pig might be CGI, but it's freaking adorable. So when the corporate overlords come for her roly-poly pal, Mija heads to the big city to save him, encountering environmental terrorists, a zany Steve Irwin type, and the suits at the top of the food chain. The film's unlikely friendship between Mija and Okja will have you dabbing at your eyes, and its critique of humans' relationship with the natural world might have you questioning even your own eating habits. And finally, Roma. All that money Netflix has spent on originals finally paid off. This film earned 10 Oscar nods and brought home three wins. And even better, it's worth all the hype. Alfonso Cuaron's Black and White Passion Project is an autobiographical story of a kind-hearted maid named Cleo who cares for her family in 1970s Mexico City amidst her own personal troubles. The movie is visually stunning, with artful direction and deliberate yet subtle shots that distinguish the unique style of the film. The movie has an endearing subtlety and tension throughout that will really keep you invested. Plus, it's hard not to fall in love with Cleo. But don't take my word for it. My buddy Will Fulton is a huge Corona super fan. So now I'm gonna give him a call with a little help from Visible. Hey, well, what's up? I'm talking Roma on Bingeworthy. What's up, Alex? I'm always down to talk to you. You came to the right person. I recently was in Mexico City on vacation and I found the house where Roma was filmed. So, you know, there's actually a plaque outside now that says Roma was filmed here from 2016 to 2017. And apparently it's nearly identical to the house where the director, Alfonso Curon, grew up, which is right across the street. It's already kind of a landmark in Mexico City and a testament to how great the film is and how much people love it. All right, well, well I'll let you go. Thanks for talking Corona with me. So, there you have it. The five best Netflix original movies. 
Of course, since Netflix seems to be on a roll, don't hold us to this list forever. They might just whip out the next Star Wars by the time you're watching this. To stay up to date on our full list of the best Netflix originals, click the link in our description. For more great videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to get my recommendations on the best stuff to binge this year, click the video to my left. Thanks for watching, everyone.